This is the Pro Mentor SA Blower Stopper Vision 3 robot. You can get it from Blower Stopper himself, which is not that expensive, or you can just watch this video and join our Telegram group. Let's dive straight into this week's video. You are tuned in live with Montevino Valentine at Pride FX. Tuned into Robot Wednesdays. Robot Wednesdays. This is my success. Welcome to another week with Montevino Valentine. I'm the co-founder of the Pride FX movement. Now today we are reviewing the Pro Mentor SA Blower Stopper Vision 3 by Pro Mentor SA himself. And today we're going to discuss more about it. But before we begin, I'd like to ask you to please subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and also hit the likes button so that you do not miss any future videos by Pride FX. Okay, so today we are going to speak about the blower stopper strategy. And the first thing I can tell you, it's very powerful. And what it works with is basically the one hour time frame. And if you can zoom out fully like this, so we want to zoom out completely to know what's currently happening. And then after you have zoomed out, you want to focus on the strategy basically itself. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to install the template because I don't want to um, actually do it the long way of, of saving it and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load template, click on blower stopper and open it. So when you open it, the magic happens. Okay, so you can basically see what it's currently doing. So let me just get to where I'm at. I want the live chart to explain. And then let me zoom out fully. And so we can have a clear indication of what price needs to do. Okay, so basically, we are going to add more stuff because that's what it requires. I'm going to throw this in here. I'm going to allow DLL, allow external, allow modifications. Now, if you don't know why you're allowing this, it's because MetaTrader 5 does not know the system. Okay, remember, they have their own demo systems. So this is the first time that they're actually picking up tools from you. So that's why um, you need to allow these things so that you do not have lag and you do not have um, some slow movement on your chart. And then we're going to click OK and basically the rancor will be added. OK, and then we're going to add super arrow indicator. So the super arrow indicator is what gives us signals. OK, and I'm going to do the same down here. And the reason why I'm doing it down here is because this actually has a limit to it and I'll explain to you soon why. Okay, so let's say okay and let's just zoom in because I need to explain to you guys basically what it does. So I'm going to start with the top window. Okay, and on the top window, we need to first find what are we looking for. So what you want to be looking for on your main window, let me zoom out a bit. So what you want to be looking out on your main window is what is the trend. Okay, so you can only confirm the trend if you're looking at this trend line. So this trend line that's crossing over the yellow one, it is the trend that this line tells you what is the current trend of the market. So if it's below, below the candles or below your Renko candles, you know that you're basically in a buy. Okay, and if it's above, it's supporting a sell momentum. That's why you can see that it respects this level and it's continuing to go down. Okay, so that's basically what you want to be focused on. You want to be focused on what is the trend. If you do not know what is the trend, you cannot actually take a trade. Because if you do not know that, how will you enter? And if you're just entering because you're getting signals, you will also mess up your account. So basically know first what is the trend. And then the red, from what you guys know already, the Ichimoku, if it's red, we know it's a sell. And if it's blue, we know it's a buy. Okay, so that's plain and simple. Now, when your arrow is showing down, we're taking a sell trade. And if it's up, we know we're taking a buy trade. Okay, so how does this work? So we're going to move down to our window below. And this is actually going to make more sense if you're looking at the window below, not the window above. The window above is just to give us a clear indication of when to enter and when to take a trade. So 
When price is at our 80 level, we know that price is exhausted. When price is exhausted, it needs to reverse. Okay, it's tired of moving upwards, so it needs to move downwards. And when it's at our 80 level, we're expecting a reversal, but we cannot confirm that reversal unless we get an arrow pointing downwards. Okay, but for this instance, I would always tell you guys to use the highest one because sometimes we can have it touch the 80 level and then it will go back to the 90 level. So always use the 90 level to get proper trades. Okay, if you're using the 80 level, use your 15 minute chart to get the best experience out of trading it. And then when you get to 50, you close and then it will move back up to the 90. You take another trade. Okay, so we know that when we get here, this is a sell area. When we get to the 50, it basically means price is exhausted. It needs to take some time to rest and then it will move back in the direction it needs to move in. And I'll explain that to you now. now. And then when price gets to this area, we know that it's a buy to the 20 level. We know it's a buy. And when it gets to the 10, we know it's a strong buy. Why? Because price is exhausted from moving in that direction. So it needs to go up. Okay, so that's basically what this window is for. It's to give you a guideline of when to sell and when to buy. It also compresses the information it has of the price to tell price that you cannot move any further than this. You need to move up. You need to get more momentum if you want to move down. So that's basically why these windows are there. They are not there based because you need to sell when you get to the highest point and you need to buy when you get to the lowest point. No. They're basically there to tell you when price is exhausted and it cannot move any further than the 10 moving than the 10 level line or the 90 moving level line. So basically that's it. Okay, we know that for now. So when you take a trade, you need to first find what is the trend. And here we can see the trend is at the highest level. So don't focus on the, the moving averages. Like I always tell you guys, if the moving averages are on your main chart. They're going to take some time before they cross. So if you want to get those sniper entries with blower stopper, you need to wait for it to be at this level and you sell. Basically, you sell. And when price moves down, can you take this buy? No. Why am I saying you cannot take this buy? Because if I have to bring up my line to this buy, we can see that price is currently here. So what do we know? Price must still go back down. So if you're taking a buy here, it means you're scalping. You are not holding this trade. It just means you're taking a few pips out of the market and you know that price is still selling. Sometimes you can do that and sometimes you cannot do that. Don't try and be a hero and hold this trade for too long because you know that price is in a downward momentum. So we can see that price took that rest. It went back up. And when it got to this area, what is your main objective you know it's a downtrend so you take another sell you close your buy you close your buys okay you're already out of the market before the signal was given so when this signal is given we know that price will be going down to an area we do not know what area but we can tell that when it got to the 50 it broke the 50 with this uh, resistance and we continued going down okay so when price got to the 10, like I said to you guys, when it gets to the 10 level, at some times it will push back up. And you guys can see that beautiful push. And what did I say? When price gets to the 50 line, it will need to go back to the 90. And I mean to the 10. Because the reason why it went back there is because that is where price really needed to be. It just took a, a rest here and gave some people um, false signals and then decided to come back down here. Okay, so that's basically it. And when you take a buy, you need it to be at a 10 level or the 20 level. If you've taken a buy here, you'd have been in nice profit going up. And then we know that when we get to a sell, because we are in an uptrend, and yeah, this is what I was speaking about. When it gets to the 50, we know that price is exhausted. And we can see that price went slightly down to this area. And what did we have? Another buy. Okay, so you can see that the buy went up to this area. And then basically, when it's selling, you know that you're not keeping the trade for too long. So basically, that is what the blower stopper strategy is about. It's basically for you to find the trend first. 
if you know what the trend is like i would not use this uh, moving average for one reason because they take too long to cross over so by the time this has crossed over price might have been down here and most of you know that the move, even your EMA or your SMA they move very slow that's why I do not use them myself but if you want to use them um, wait for them to cross and take the sell but if you want those sniper entries if you do see that price is hovering by your 90 you can enter three trades and hold those trades when it gets to another entry you can enter again so basically that is what the blower stopper strategy is about finding the trend making sure that you always stick to the trend when the when the signals come from your super arrow indicator you want to make sure that they are also um, behaving with the trend do not take trades against the trend because the trend can kill you okay that's it from me montevino valentine from pride fx have a wonderful day and have a wonderful week ahead this is robot wednesdays you are tuned in live with Montevino Valentine at Pride FX. Tuned in to Robot Wednesdays. Robot Wednesdays. This is my success.